welcome Dr. Barry Marshall. The AstraZeneca Nobel Medicine Initiative is important. Uh, it uh, demonstrates the commitment of both sides uh, to really help to disseminate the information about those important scientific discoveries. After we discovered Helicobacter and suggested that this bacterium could be the cause of ulcers, uh, nobody believed us and nobody wanted to start treating uh, ulcers with antibiotics. Dr. Marshall, he shows the passion and his innovation for science. He gets himself infected by uh, drinking the bacteria liquid. So here I am drinking the helicobacter in my lab tech. He says, Dr. Marshall, you're crazy. And I'm saying there's no other way. We want to inspire students and researchers uh, to further their efforts and be excited about pursuing careers in research. I was curious about when Professor Warren first came to you with his hypothesis. Did you also doubt about that? He wanted to connect with patients. So Dr. Warren taught me everything I know about histology and showed me those bacteria and I said, you know, I can see it with my own eyes, I believe it. So I don't care what anyone else says. That was so exciting, it's like daydreaming. I never dreamed about that I could have a chance to talk to the Nobel Prize winner. It is very important for our science to hear and feel the passion from the Nobel laureates, to feel how they, against all the odds, uh, that really believe what they think is the right thing and pursue that dream, that idea. So I submitted my paper for a local meeting. Uh, this is my rejection letter. Dr. Marshall, I regret your research paper was not accepted for presentation. That I'm sure is very inspiring to our young scientists as well. And if they really believe it, they should do whatever you can to either prove it or disapprove it. When you get that rejection letter, keep it. And so many years later, if you are correct, you still have your rejection letter and you can show everybody. Well, there are many uh, inspirational moments uh, from Professor Marshall's talk. One of our young scientists asked about his advice uh, for people like him who are still early in his career. You might say it's an advantage to be young because you have an open mind. You don't have any fixed beliefs. And so you lack the knowledge, but you're ready to take new knowledge. I'm very inspired by Professor Marshall's uh, story. It's a good opportunity to have this chance to talk to such a famous person in such a close distance. Professor Marshall just uh, asked us to do what you are interested in, just to do it, and maybe you'll get something very surprising. It has broadened our horizon and let us see the world outside and see what the top scientists are thinking about. Follow your heart and do the research that you're interested in you like. His words are very, very inspiring and I want to share with my friends about his story. That's why I come here. It's kind of a experience of a lifetime to actually have a Nobel laureate to come over and give a talk. 